Hello, everyone. I pray that God blesses for. I pray that God blesses us. I pray that God gives us everything we need that won't cause us to go astray. I pray that God bees there in our time of need. Okay, let me get to my point. You may say to me, Kevin, I understand that you said that prayer is very powerful. But what you may say to me, Kevin, I have prayed for someone so many times, but it seems like it is not doing any good. In fact, Kevin, as it seems, the more I pray, the worse it gets. And you may disagree with me. I believe the more you pray for someone, and if it seems like it is getting worse, in my humble opinion, I can't show you a scripture where it says, you know, when it gets worse, you know, that is a good sign. From my humble opinion, when it gets worse, I believe that is a good sign. I guess depending on the case. If you are trying to live for Jesus Christ, not saying you do everything perfectly, but you are striving for perfection, although. And if you are praying for a person or people and it seems like it is getting worse, it is my opinion that there is a chance your prayers are working. The Bible says, I believe that we are in a spiritual war. In essence, we are in a spiritual war. If we go to Ephesians chapter 6, starting with verse 11, put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So in essence, we are in war with the demonic. So if you are praying for someone and you are trying to do things right, you are striving for perfection, you are believing in Jesus Christ as your savior and all that stuff like that. And if things get worse, if things get worse with the person you are dealing with, worse with you, as in, how am I? If things get worse between you and that person or things get worse with that person, I believe it is demons fighting against your prayers. I truly believe so. I truly believe so. And also, I believe there is a saying that Rome was not built in one day. or whatever <laughs> so in essence with stuff like this when praying for people of course when you pray for something believe that you have already received it and that is faith if what you are praying about if you don't see it happen as quickly as you like still hold on to your faith 
still believe it has already happened, even though you see contrary information, even though you don't see it. So when you don't see it, still believe it, which goes against, I guess, the human mind, because with some people, they may say, well, I have to see to believe which is, I believe, very bad in some ways, but maybe in many ways. But when you pray for something, when you pray for someone, I mean, don't be tripped up by their negative attitude, by their negative ways, by their negative demeanor if I am using that word rightly yes I believe it is so easy to lose faith in what you are praying for when it concerns a person I think it is very easy to be like well, I don't see it happening. So since I don't see it, then probably it is not God's will. And I think some people put it off in that type of way or believe <clears throat> that God won't honor their prayer. When you pray for something, even if you don't have it, even if you don't see it, even if you can't sense it, still believe it has already happened, even if it takes you a year to see it, two years to see it, three years to see it, because what do you have to lose? If you are praying for God to help you, what do you have to lose? Like, hey, I want God to help me with this area of my life. So since you are lacking in that area of your life, what do you have to lose by believing in Jesus Christ to help you in that area? Why not like, are you spending something? Like by believing in Jesus Christ, are you spending something? Are you losing something? Yes, you may need patience. You, you may need patience. You may need long suffering, but, it, but in essence, what are you losing? A person may say, well, I don't want to believe in Jesus Christ for this because back in the past, he did not answer what I wanted him to answer. But think about it. What are you losing by believing in Jesus Christ for something? What are you losing? Honestly, what are you losing? Yes. Whatever you have prayed for may not have been answered in a timely manner, according to you. But what did you lose? Honestly. I believe, well, I don't want to get into all of that right now. Maybe I should. Let's say you are in need now. And let's say you don't have the resources to take care of what you need to be taken care of. Okay. So, but you know of a bad way to get the resources to so-called take care of your needs. So, but you know, or should know, I guess, 
that if you do it the bad way, you are going to reap what you sow. But if you stay patient and believe in Jesus Christ for it, what are you losing? When you do what is right, wrong to get what you need, I believe you are going to lose something because you are doing what is wrong. But if you wait on God to fulfill your need or whatever that is not wrong, what are you losing? I hope this makes sense. To get back to my point, if you pray for someone and if it seems like they are not getting better in one week's time, in a, a month, two months, three months, one year, keep on praying. Who told you that you should only pray one time? Where did this thinking come from? Well, you know, I saw one of those Jesus movies and Jesus stretched out his hand and uh, touched the person and they instantly got healed. So if I do that and if that person doesn't become healed in the same way, then I am not doing it right or it is not for me. I think that is ridiculous. If you are trying to live for Jesus Christ, if you are striving for perfection, why wouldn't your prayers work? Honestly, you just need patience. Stop. God is not a popcorn God. Yes, some prayers, as it seems, may get answered very quickly. Some prayers, as it seems, may take a bit longer. But all in all, if you follow what the Bible says, according to prayers, whether it takes this long or that long or however long, I believe it is going to be answered. You can't, we, yes, we, we have to stop being impatient. We have to learn patience. We have to learn humility. We have to learn to be long suffering. We have to adopt the characteristics of God in that sense. So, when you don't get what you want in the timely manner as you think you should get it, don't be like a child. I believe with some children, small kids, I believe with some of them, when they don't get particular things they want, what may they do? They may begin shouting. They may begin rolling around the ground crying. May throw a hissy fit. And all this mess here, don't many of us act that way in a sense. Not maybe not exactly like that, but in a general sense. I believe so. Stop acting like immature, we should stop acting like immature brats. Brats, yes. Well, since God did not answer my prayer within a week, I am going to say that there is no God and he is false and I don't want anything to do with him. I am just going to do my own thing. In fact, I'm going to speak to a demon so that he can give me what I want. And if you do mess like that, you are asking for so much trouble.
especially talking to a demon or doing witchcraft mass to get what you want. If you do witchcraft, I would say it's like taking a shortcut, but in the wrong way. You may get something you may think you want, but I don't believe it is going to turn out right. I don't think it will. Look at some of these testimonies of ex-witches. I believe, well, let me stop here. May God bless you.